everyone, this is my new and improved battery spot welder. It is uh, air powered, it is fully automated with using a foot switch. It uh, uses a Siemens logo as its processor and uh, let me turn it on. In order to start it needs a few seconds to boot. So if we wait and I press the foot switch we will see the the movement with the machine okay so let's weld the battery and see how it goes I must use only one my hand because I hold the camera sorry okay as we can see here sorry for that this is the battery strip let's weld it sorry for the bad camera view and now let's see what we have weld sorry I think you can see that are perfectly perfectly fine spot welds it is fully automated as I told you here is the foot switch over here the stuff over here, the, the air cylinder, everything I've made it from scratch on the lathe. You can also adjust the back with a screw so if you have a tower or, sm or a smaller or higher battery you can adjust it so you can weld it. Uh, here is the box that contains everything, the controller and so on. Let me shut it off. Open and you will see what is going inside so basically it is, it is uh, I've tried to uh, put a transformer from a microwave but it didn't have the power to do it so what I did I took a transformer out of my old welder and rewind it so it can fit my needs so what we can see here are the LEDs of course that are in the front panel over here this is the air switch over here, this is the transformer as you can see and inside if we turn it on we can see the Siemens logo it is booting up right now that controls basically the relay that uh, hooks to the primary of the transformer and the air valve so we can see what's going on over here inside what is going on I have put a big relay but I don't think it will last long it may be required solid state relay in order to do this but enough I have this is my third uh, try to make a spot welder actually one that works really well so uh, I will not uh, put on my time anymore in this this is how I will leave it for, for now later on I will do something for the relay because as you can see it makes some sparks you can also adjust the amperage over here I have adjusted perfectly fine uh, 0 0.1 of the second on the primary of the relay in the output it's one tenth one uh, less than one tenth of the second actually I have measured it with my oscilloscope here as you can see the build that I have done it actually took me a lot of hours I have put a handle as you can see as well, as well. Uh, one of the problem is when I did spot batteries I was like trying to adjust the angle of the battery in order to have a spot weld the secret behind this is just put one of the <coughs> of the welder tips let's say stable and the other one to be a movable one so I've made the other movable one so what is happening over here is as the battery goes and it pressures the one adjusts according to size so it is actually like it is level all the time because one of the electrodes will be eaten in time you, can, you cannot adjust it like in every battery you have to 
have one of the systems. This is the air cylinder that I have made in lathe. It's a nice one. Took me a lot of time as I told you. I have other projects to share as well. But I have a lot of lack of time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.